Hello, and welcome to another episode of Nikkor Store's Flashlight Lore. In today's concept video breakdown, we will be going over lenses, reflectors, reflector textures, and how those affect a flashlight's beam profile. What is to come is a veritable feast of different beam profiles, and some of my personal favorites. To help illustrate this principle, I have assembled a collection of Nikkor flashlights in front of me. The P30i for the large diameter smooth reflector, the MH12S for the small diameter smooth reflector, MH25 for the intermediary diameter smooth reflector, the P20 UV V2 for the uh, orange peeled reflector, and the Nikkor TUP for the TIR lens. First up is the Nikkor TUP keychain light. Up close, you can see that the TUP outermost lens is flat. However, it creates the illusion that it is convex outwardly. Furthermore, when you look at it head on, it seems as if you can look straight down into the LED, as if this central part is completely hollow. But believe it or not, that is not the case. Here is a side profile of a TIR lens. Inside the central column are two lenses oriented inversely to each other, which creates the illusion that you are looking at something dead on because one is magnifying while the other is demagnifying, and they in essence cancel each other out. For instance, if they were both facing this way, it would operate in a similar fashion to a rudimentary microscope and magnify the LED. The basic principle of a total internal reflection works thusly. Due to a phenomenon in physics which I am not qualified to explain, when light, or any wave for that matter, so this would work with sound waves or microwaves even, when a wave travels from a medium with a higher density to a lower density, so for example, water to air, there is a very specific angle called a critical angle, where instead of refracting, it will completely reflect the wave back. This particular phenomenon is called total internal reflection. Here it is being demonstrated in a educational physics video. You have probably witnessed this yourself, where if you stand at a certain distance in front of a clear glass of water, you begin to start seeing a fuzzy reflection of yourself, albeit upside down. In summary, a TIR lens provides the most amount of control over a beam's profile to the designer, because depending on how convex they decide to make this lens, or this lens, or how deep or shallow they decide to make the entire structure, all of the light emanating from this LED will be influenced somehow via these lenses, thus total internal reflection. So, for instance, here are six different TIR lenses and their resulting beam patterns. The manufacturer of the lens can produce everything from a completely smooth fill all the way up to an overlapping Euler diagram style pattern with how they manipulate the properties of the TIR lens. Thus, my recommendation for if you encounter a flashlight that has a TIR lens is to try to get some beam shots and beam profiles so you can see what the end result will be. Next up is the Classic Smooth Reflector or Polish Reflector. I have prepared three different sizes to compare the effects of reflector size. For the Classic 1-inch Reflector, I have an MH12S. For an intermediary size, I have the 1.57-inch diameter MH25GT. And finally, for a large oversized reflector, I have a P30i. What is most striking is that as reflector diameter increases, there is increased clarity. The thresholds between the spill and darkness, as well as the hotspot and spill, become sharper and more refined. Here is a side profile of a standard reflector. Most of the light traveling outwards from the LED will get collimated by the reflector. However, there is still some light at sharper angles that escape prior to being reflected, which is what leads to this extra spill and fuzziness. Fortunately, almost all modern flashlights come with multiple brightness modes, so for up close and personal tasks, having the fuzziness or clarity on the edges is not really much of a problem. Thus, the trade-off for standard reflector flashlights would have to be your intended use and portability. For for instance, when it comes to standard EDC flashlights, nothing beats a slim straight tube design, and with the natural collimation from the reflector, at the highest setting you still get decent enough hotspot and good enough range. Whereas if you know you absolutely need the longest ranges and most beam throw, a larger reflector is necessary, although it is more cumbersome. Another type of reflector design I wanted to discuss is orange peel. Now, there are a wide variety of diffuse reflectors which I will conveniently ignore. Orange peel reflectors tend to be the most popular with flashlights. 
Now, orange peel reflectors, as you would expect, tend to diffuse the beam more so than smooth, polished reflectors. That is because even though the overall shape of the reflector might be the same as a smooth reflector, or the same size, it is the texture on top of the reflector surface that scatters more light, less probabilistically. Here is one of the few orange peel reflector flashlights we currently have, the P20UV V2. This one happens to be one of my most favorite beam patterns. Whenever we receive a new light, the first thing I do is shine it at the wall right next to me maybe a few inches away and observe the beam pattern. The P20 UV produces the most beautiful, almost rotational design that reminds me of a common hibiscus. It is just far more interesting compared to a circle within a circle. The overall flower petal-like light distribution effect is probably due to a combination of the P20 UV's crenulated bezel, as well as the orange peel reflector which helps smooth out some of the edges, and in addition, the four sharp cutouts that are angled into the reflector to make room for the UV LEDs. All of these in tandem help create the visually pleasing geometric pattern. That concludes the concept video breakdown of reflectors, lenses, and a third thing that should have been more interesting from Nikkor Store USA. If you have enjoyed this video, or think I am a big dumb fart, please leave a comment or suggestion below. As always, as a show of appreciation for our YouTube audience, save 10% on your entire order at Nikkor Store when you use the coupon code U10 at checkout. To stay up to date on future product releases, sales announcements, specials, and all things flashlight related, please consider subscribing to the Nikkor Store YouTube channel. And thank you.